Hello guys, I'm here on another service call. Uh, there is no heat in one of the apartments. Uh, this building has six units and um, the zone valve that they, this building have is the Taco Gold 3 terminal. So we're gonna troubleshoot inside. This building we have six apartments and uh, four apartments are controlled by one transformer and the other two by another transformer. So of these four, one doesn't have heat. So uh, that tells me that the low voltage is fine, that um, the, problem, the problem is just in that apartment. So it's either the thermostat, the take valve is not opening, or the apartment is airbound. So we're gonna find out what's wrong with it. So follow me and I'll show you. So I'm heading to the apartment just to make sure that the thermostat is calling for heat. So I'm here at the apartment and the customer is calling for 76 but the temperature in the apartment is 60 so I'm gonna go downstairs and see what's going on. Okay guys so this is the boiler I mean at the boiler room so when you come to a service call you have to uh, waken up all your senses your your eyes your smell uh, your touch your your hearing everything because everything counts and anything could lead you to the problem so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna watch um, the gauge uh, the gauge tells me that it's 12 pounds as it's supposed to be and the temperature in the boiler is 150 so that tells me that most of everything is working so it's more than likely just that apartment and then we have two circulating pumps one is for four apartments and the other two i'm sorry and the other one is for another two apartments the pumps are running fine so that tells me that i have 24 volts and the, the problem is isolated just to one apartment okay so these four apartments run on one pump and the apartment that we are interested in is on this one here and i'm gonna touch the pipes this is hot this one is not as hot and that's hot as well so this is not too so i want to put my clamp my clamp so that's about 85 degrees uh, it should be hotter so now i'm going to put my clamp on the one that works and the temperature on this one is about 107 degrees and climbing so this is about uh, 30 degrees colder so that's why it's important that you touch uh, listen uh, smell so okay so now I'm gonna check uh, volts on this, on this valve to see what's going on so this is a take a valve and um, by pushing this lever here it's hard to uh, take down that means it's either not calling or there's something wrong with the power head. I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna put my uh, leads in the number one and number two, and I'm gonna look for 24 volts. So I have 2430, so that means I have 24 volts. So the thermostat is communicating with the power head, but the power head is not working. When one and two make, number two and three is the end switch, and it sends the power to the pump and to the burners to turn on but it's not opening the valve because the power head is defective power to the whole boiler so i waited for two minutes now we're going to remove take a picture of the wiring so you know what's what so we have just one white wire from the thermostat number one then the blue on number two, blues on number two, and two whites on number three. Okay. 
Okay, so we remove the wires. Uh, you're gonna turn uh, to your right, you, uh, counterclockwise, just a little bit and it comes loose. Look how easy. I'm gonna do it again. Just turn a little bit, comes loose, and then lift, and that's it. And this is my new head. You're gonna do the same right there. So you'll sit it down there and then turn. And make sure it's nice. Now we're gonna sell our wires. I connected all the wires back. I turned the boiler back on, waited for two minutes, and now my power head is working, hot water is passing through, it's 125 degrees, and it's hot, and we are happy. Okay, so let's make it simpler for you. We have the thermostat, we have the take valve, we have the pump relay, and then down here we have the transformer. Okay, this is your take valve, one, two, three. Number one from the take valve goes to the thermostat. The number two of the take valve is gonna go to the common side of the transformer. Okay, so when you call for heat, the thermostat, right now it's not calling for heat, so this is not making. So when you call for heat and it closes on temperature rise, the power is gonna go to the valve. And since in number two, we have power at all the times, but and then the power is gonna go come to one it's gonna one and two is gonna make you're gonna have 24 volts when one and two makes two and three is gonna make because there's an end switch and uh the end the pump relay is always hot on one side with the common and when two and three make boom sends power to tt and then your relay is gonna energize and the relay is going to energize the pump or the burners or whatever you have there. So remember, 1 and 2, 24 volts. If you don't have 24 volts, check for your transformer or your thermostat. Okay? If you have 24 volts in 1 and 2 and the valve doesn't open, then the valve is to be blamed. Uh, when 1 and 2 makes, 2 and 3 make, and this is the end switch, and this is going to send power to the pump. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope this diagram helped you. So, if so, please don't forget to like and subscribe.